Well, hey guys, it's my Gardener, and today I'm gonna be doing a very fun compost episode. Now, everyone always asks me, do I have to wait till my compost is finished before I can use it? It's a really common question, I get it a lot. And there's one simple answer for that, and it's no. A lot of people think that the entire compost pile has to be finished. Granted, you want it to be composted, because if you throw uncomposted material into the, into the garden, it's gonna steal nitrogen, and it's gonna cause really all the leaves, poor growth, and once it breaks down, you'll be fine. It's just that it's best to add already composted stuff so that you don't have any setbacks. But back here, I have just a big pile of mangled stuff. You guys watching probably have something similar. Um, when you have a big pile like this, this contains uh, branches, uh, branches with leaves, dead sticks, twigs, straw from Halloween and the garden and weeds and uh, tomato vines, pretty much everything just comes over here. All of the leaf matter and stuff goes into my actual compost pile, but for those of you guys that just have kind of one of those heaps of like whatever you throw on there, like branch cuttings or whatever, you're gonna end up with a pile like this and over time it actually does break down, although it doesn't appear to be breaking down. The key is what's underneath because as it breaks down, it actually falls through and as the rain falls it kind of works its way down and it's actually all nested down in the bottom and ah, mosquito um, but it actually nests down in the bottom and so if you take a tool like this it's just a pitchfork potato turner thing and uh, or you just use your hands move the pile you just move it over maybe five three four feet um, you're gonna be able to access all of the ah, mosquitoes you're gonna be access all of the the compost underneath that pile, and as you'll see um, over over there, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna bring you in close, but over on this side, I actually moved the compost pile, and that's it's over here now. But it was over there, and you'll be able to see all of the green growth, all of the really really green growth that was never able to grow there before because it was just so um, it was so dense, and the compost pile had killed off all the weeds and stuff because it kind of shaded it out. And then when I moved it, it allowed everything to grow back really lush green. And I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to actually flip this compost pile back to that spot, and I'll show you what the compost down here looks like. So it's definitely for you if you don't want to wait for a compost pile to finish, or if you just have a pile that you want to be able to harvest some form of compost from. And as you guys can see right there, look at all that green growth. That's just beautiful. All that stuff right there is all of where the compost pile was. And now it's just down here as I pan down. You can see the compost pile here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to flip this. And we're going to see what's underneath it. Get over here. I'm just going to kind of start peeling these layers back. And it does take a while. But I mean, even as you can see with this stuff, it's starting to break down. You got some uh, rhubarb peelings in there. A lot of straw, a lot of hay. And stuff is starting to break down. Just, it moves very slowly. So I'm just gonna kinda toss it. And also, I was gonna say, when you're moving your compost pile, when you pick it up, give it a little shake. Cause sometimes the compost, the composted material gets trapped in between the, uh, the, the twigs and it doesn't totally fall down yet. Cause everything composts at a different rate. You know, sticks take a long time. Leaf matter doesn't take that long at all. Grass matter compost relatively very quick. So I'm just kind of giving it a nice shake. Just moving the compost pile. And uh, we're gonna get down to the bottom. It just smells so rich and earthy. And you can already see a lot of the compost that's being revealed. A lot of this has been breaking down for about two years now. And there is a little snake in there I just saw, so do be careful because it makes good homes for the snakes. I'm gonna not try to find him. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna get bit. I'm not sure what kind of snake that is. Probably a garter snake, but you can never be too sure until you actually see what it is, because here in Michigan we don't have too big of a snake problem. But uh, <laughs> but they, they do exist, so I'm just gonna see if I can kind of work him out of here. And then uh, I can show you guys the compost. It's looking really good. 
All right, so as you can see, I got the compost pile all moved over to the new location. There is a little bit over there, but basically we're down to this last little bit here. And I just wanted to show you what this stuff looks like because this is all compost. This is beautiful stuff. Look at all of the bugs. Just look at all of the roly polies, the pill bugs, I guess they're called, and the centipedes, the worms. Just crazy amounts of these things. Just tons. I mean, I can't even focus on one, one little spot that doesn't have probably 15 or 20 on there. But So then I'm going to show you this beautiful compost. Nice worm right there. And all this stuff was just laying underneath that compost pile. That Had I left it, all these nutrients would have been leached into the soil and I would not have been able to benefit from it. It's beautiful. It's just totally loose. And it's not, I mean, it's not 100% broken down, but but it's nowhere, I mean, it's nowhere near gonna be perfect because it's not meant to be a, a compost pile that really just heats up and decomposes everything. But I mean, it's just gorgeous and it never clumps together. It's super loose. And as you can see, I got a pretty decent pile there of just beautiful compost and it's all ready to be used in the garden. Of course, you always can just take it, take the shovel even more and just kind of scoop underneath if you'd like. Just scoop it and just give it a quick shake. And as you can see there, that's all non-composted stuff. So you just take it, throw it, and do it again. And see all that stuff, non-composted, you just throw it. And you can basically sift it using the, the fork. But I mean, you can also use a screen if you want to screen your compost. But just beautiful stuff. Really proud of that, really happy with it. I think it's gonna do amazing in the garden. Well, I mean, I know it's gonna do amazing in the garden, but um, yeah, it's gonna just, it's gonna feed those plants exactly what they're looking for. Well, all right, it's literally as simple as that. Really no effort needed. And as you can see, I got a lot of compost there that I can use. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go spread it in the garden. I'm gonna get to work. I'm also gonna get out of the rain. And as always, this is my gardener. Ready you guys to grow big or go home? Talk to you guys later. See ya, bye.